solution to EMC problems. In module 5.5, we will look into the problem of shielded cables. Previously, you have seen uh, shielded cables as a perfect shielded cable. Now, in this module, we will look at the real shielded cables in which there are some leakage of electromagnetic fields and we will try to quantify this leakage in terms of models. These are the main contents, uh, cable sheets with imperfections, uh, what are the different kind of imperfections there and we will develop a transmission line model for shielded cables and introduce the concept of transfer impedance for cylindrical shields and experimental determination of transfer impedance. Now consider this uh, picture of uh, the shielded cable. So you can find uh, uh, the shield which is in the form of a braid and uh, you have uh, insulation and also uh, one more shield over here which is uh, more like a solid shield and the inner conductor. So this is one example of a shielded cable. Then uh, suppose there are two entities that are connected by cable screening. Now the inner conductor is shown in that dotted line and if uh, there are no sources connected anywhere, ideally you will find this VC at both ends that is between inner conductor and the shield. Uh, the shield is connected to the cabinet over here on both sides. So this voltage has to be zero. Even when there is an illumination of electromagnetic fields uh, on this cable because there is no leakage. But real cables like this will have some leakage and due to this leakage you will find some voltage at both ends. And this uh, voltage we will try to determine, we will try to model. Now if both ends are connected to a ground then it drives a certain current along the ground. So the current on the cable shield is uh, here Is. Now let us look at what are the imperfections in the cable shield. First of all, from skin effect you have seen that if there is a, a current on the sheath, uh, diffusively it will penetrate to the inside. Uh, the skin effect will confine most of the currents to the outside but still there will be some current penetrating to the inside. So this is called the diffusive penetration, we have seen this already. In in the case of uh, metals. Then uh, often the shield is in the form of braid uh, weaved uh, wires for the sake of flexibility and, uh, and through the holes of the uh, braid you can have field penetration. So here an example of mantic field penetration to the inner conductor from outside is shown and here a case of electric field penetration is shown. So through holes in braided shield and sometimes the shield is in the form of tape that is spiraling around it. So which will the, the currents uh, on it will be having a spiraling uh, track because of that. And this will create an unbalanced uh, magnetic field inside. And this un unbalanced magnetic field can create uh, a current in the inner conductor. 
So, this is a special case for spiral bound tape bound shield. So, in all these three sheets, whether it is solid, braided, or spiral wound, you will have diffusive penetration. Now, how do we develop a transmission line model for shielded cables? So, imagine a shielded conductor. So, what we are interested in is uh, in response to flow of a current on the cable shield, what will be the voltage developed across the inner conductor and the shield. So, this is what we want to determine. Intuitively, we know that uh, as we go uh, as the length of the cable is increasing or uh, as the distance uh, traveled is increasing, more and more voltage will be appearing here. So, let us uh, try to develop a model for it. So, this is the basic transmission line model where you have a series uh, impedance and you have an admittance also. So, you have certain currents I C and you have certain voltage imposed here or appearing over here let us say and uh, uh, this voltage is uh, V plus delta V by delta C. Now, we define uh, a impedance which is called the transfer impedance in such a way that it should be a measure of voltage appearing the differential mode voltage appearing between the inner conductor and the shield per ampere of the current along the shield and per distance traveled. So, it means that this transfer impedance T is uh, per meter, ohms per meter the unit uh, will be. Uh, that you can see it from here. So, transfer impedance is uh, defined as uh, dV by I 0 dC or this uh, source that we connect to represent this transfer impedance is Z T I 0 DC. So, transfer impedance multiplied by the shield current. So, I 0 is the shield current not this inner current Z T I 0 DC equal to d V by d z into d c that is this part. So, th this is the voltage drop over here and this is uh, the difference uh, in this. So, if you say th this is uh, uh, according to the condition that I c equal to 0 only when that condition is there we can write like that. So, assume that there is no current through the inner conductor and we have only the action of this V c. So, it is open circuited then you can define this. So, I equal to 0. So, I have made some uh, in inconsistency in the notation here. So, please ignore that. So, here it is I c and here it is I equal to 0 like that, but from the context uh, you will know what it is. The transfer impedance of cylindrical shields, so there you can from electromagnetics you can derive an analytical expression for transfer impedance and this has been done as early as 1934 by uh, the scientist Skeldkunov in his famous book. 
So, he has given this expression for the transfer impedance of a cylindrical tube. If the thickness of the tube is very small compared to the diameter of the tube. So, that is given as 1 by 2 pi a, a is the radius of the tube, sigma conductivity and square root of j omega mu, epsilon, mu sigma divided by sin hyperbolic t thickness and square root. So, that can be simplified like this, where delta is the skin depth 1 by square root of pi f mu sigma. So, let us have this assumption, first is t far less than a, and a the size is uh, electrically small, far less than lambda. And also we neglect the displacement current compared to the conduction current. That assumption also we are making, displacement that is uh, in Ampere's law you have a dis displacement current term, so that term is neglected. So, then it becomes like a diffusive type of equations in heat transfer. Transfer impedance of a homogeneous tube, when T by delta is far less than 1, uh, that is at uh, low frequencies, that is delta is uh, much higher than T. So, you have almost uniform current across the shield. So, the shield, the current is penetrating across the shield. So, that is low frequencies. In that case, uh, uh, if you substitute in this one, you will see that transfer impedance is nothing but 1 by 2 pi a sigma t, t is the thickness. So, which is uh, the DC resistance per unit length. So, so many ohms per meter you will get. So, transfer impedance is nothing but uh, uh, the DC resistance at very low frequencies. Let us find the diffusion time constant. So, that diffusion time constant is uh, mu sigma t squared, t is the thickness. So, you can write it as uh, 1 by pi f t by delta. by introducing delta and 1 by pi f delta. So, you are defining uh, a frequency f delta here and t by delta is uh, for uh, t by delta can be uh, any value in this case. So, this is only for applicable over here. So, th this frequency is uh, when f delta at which t by delta equal to 1. So, when uh, skin depth is equal to t, you can say it is equal to 1. Then uh, uh, you can find the diffusion time constant uh, for any t. For example, copper foil of 0.2 millimeter thick has a diffusion time constant of 2.9 microsecond. If you put in 0.2 millimeter here, uh, conductivity of copper and mu over here, you will get uh, the diffusion time constant as 2.9 microsecond. Uh, and you can calculate uh, uh, when t by delta will be 1 uh, and that will be 109 kilohertz. Another way of looking transfer impedance, uh, in cable shields 
it is a measure of uh, electromagnetic leakage. So, as said before, the fields are leaking from the outside to the inside. So, this is the current density. Uh, so, let us have this uh, equivalent circuit for the shield which you have seen before. This is the inner conductor and this is the shield. Shield has got uh, shield resistance and uh, shield inductance. We have seen that uh, there is a mutual inductance. Previously, we called it as L R S or something. So, that is mutual inductance between receptor and the shield and previously we assumed that they are almost equal to 0, but in reality it will not be 0. There will be a slight mismatch between mutual inductance and self inductance of the shield and that mismatch is uh, uh, the one causing the leakage say for example, uh, inductive leakage into it. For example, the difference between those two inductance may be altogether m 1 2 or 1 nano Henry uh, for a coupling coefficient of 0.996. So, this is very small compared to the self inductance of 1 micro Henry, you know, 1000 times smaller, but this is enough to have a you know induced EMF inside. So, this is the mechanism of uh, leakage that is depicted over here. The first, in, first one is diffusive penetration, just uh, now we saw this mechanism how through a holes. So, it is this hole that is giving this leakage inductance. So, transfer impedance in different types of cables we can uh, write. We can calculate those transfer impedance. So, these are some typical calculations. Uh, using the realistic properties. So, this is kind of a sketch of it. For example, one is uh, aluminum mylar foil. So, uh, let us start with solid copper shield, which is this one the numbering is missing over here, I will write it here. So, this is number 4 solid copper shield. So, there are no holes, so no penetration of magnetic field. So, uh, at low frequencies it is like DC resistance, then as the frequency is increased, uh, you know less and less field penetrate to the inside. So, the transfer impedance goes down. Then uh, double braid shield. So, that will be something like this number 3 and single braid shield will be this 2 and aluminum mylar foil will be 1. So, here uh, in aluminum mylar foil you have a gap in the in this because they are not uh, really solid shield. So, through that gap you will be you will be having leakage. So, this is the inductive part of the leakage and this is the low frequency part, this is the high frequency part. So, the high frequency part changes uh, with uh, 20 dB per decade and in the double braid shield initially it comes down due to the diffusive part, then after that the inductive part kick over and you have it increasing upward.
So, experimentally the transfer impedance uh, of cables can be determined. So, this is kind of a uh, setup that could be used. Say for example, if you have a shield, this is the shield and put that shield into a tube, the concentric tube and th those are connected to a cabinet and inside the cabinet you have oscilloscope and you can measure this differential mode voltage. And one end of the shield and the inner wire are connected together and you are injecting a current uh, to this uh, shorter combination and that is I 0. So, basically you are circulating a current along the shield. So, this is a cross section what is being shown. Now, assume that the length of the tube is far less than your wavelength. So, this is uh, electrically short. Then since it is short over here, the voltage between inner conductor and the shield is 0, but if you measure it over here, you will find a voltage and this voltage is only due to the action of the current and the penetration of uh, electric and magnetic fields uh, into the shield. That is a measure of that. So, V0 open circuit is defined as this current times transfer impedance times the length of the tube or transfer impedance is defined as this measured voltage divided by the current times length. So, in this way you can find the transfer impedance. Now, what is shown here is an oscillogram of transfer impedance in time domain of an RG58 cable. So, down here you can find uh, the time division, this is 1 microsecond. So, each one is uh, 100 nanoseconds and here it is uh, in terms of uh, uh, voltages or currents the scale. So, the current through the shield injected uh, using a setup that you have seen previously is given by I 0. So, you, you forget about this half of it because that is because of the reflections and other things. So, you do not have to consider that part. So, consider only the first half of the graph. So, I 0 is rising within a few nanoseconds to a steady value and th that value is about 120 ampere uh, per division. So, here uh, uh, the rise time is several nanosecond and you can see the voltage, this voltage is uh, what you measure the open circuit voltage in this and that voltage you can see is peaking when the current is having maximum derivative almost. So, that is very characteristic of uh, inductive kind of a coupling. Then it goes down and it takes a long time before that voltage reaches a steady value. So, this time taken by the voltage to rise all this way kind of represent the diffusive time constant. 
that you have seen over here, diffusive time constant Td. So, this current applied is 104 amperes and uh, uh, the corresponding voltage, the peak, uh, the steady voltage that you find is around 2.75 2 volt. So, that gives 26.4 milli ohm and the tube used in this experiment was 2 meters. So, you get the DC resistance of the shielded cable as 13 milli ohms per meter. Now, for this peak, di by dt you can approximately calculate as uh, 2.2 into 10 to the power of 9 amperes per second. And if we invoke E equal to m d i by d t or m is uh, this is a peak voltage is 5.9 volt divided by the d i by d t. That will give you 2.7 nano Henry and per meter it gives you 1.3 nano Henry per meter. So, this is the leakage inductance. So, we have found the DC resistance of the cable and leakage inductance from this experiment. So, transfer impedance is a combination of both. You can also have tubular shields like that. This is another type of tube, uh, another type of cable having a tubular shield used in installation in uh, wet areas, power line installation in wet areas. So, this cable, even though it is not intended as a shielded cable, due to the fact that for keeping away moisture, you have aluminum foil, a solid shield it has a very good performance and this DC resistance is only 7.4 milli ohms per meter and it does not have any uh, holes. It is only a small gap at the edges where the foil is folded over. So, the leakage inductance also is very small. It is 0.3 to nanofarad. So, this shows uh, illustration of uh, transfer impedance, how to find both the diffusive part as well as the inductive part of the transfer impedance in shielded cables.